Hello, people. Come back to the live stream. I am bad at introductions. Barry. Uh, uh, hello there, everyone. Nayrui here, and welcome back w once again to uh, another session of Fallout Equestria Distant Lands. Yeah, that was much better than anything. Um, last time we party back to the future brought all the stuff that they had carried along with them into Salvation City found out that Gage was up west of the, where they're at across the mountain range that separates this island into effectively two parts conversing with raiders um, there was a mega spell slash balefire bomb on one of the islands north of here. It's the last of the islands that I haven't went to yet. As well as a mix between the Children of Adam and some remnants of Unity, trying to redo that whole thing from the first book. Uh, there's a city of children ghouls on that set on said island. The Raider group coalition thingy twelve have spread out and begun to take over more of the island. They killed the benefactor. Um, Fractured Steel went over to where the benefactor was in the prison where they talked to a zebra back in the past. And his forces are mostly scattered at this point. And finally, Barry got her wings. Mm -hmm. Did I leave anything out you all feel is an... And Trainwreck started a radio station. Did I leave anything big out that you all want to mention? Mm -hmm. Eh, it could... Well, uh, could say in the process of getting the wings that... Uh... Barry managed to make the uh, bro uh, the broken steel and take their uh, uh, their their alliance and make it more formalized rather than just a yeah we'll help you help you help you when we can rather than now that we are a dedicated de dedicated allied faction. You know you are technically a faction now because you have a town. But that is where we've left off. Not sure exactly what the plan is as for where they're going and doing this session. But I'm all ears. And I hope that nothing goes too off the rails, but at the same time, it's usually fun when it does. All right. So first things first, need to get everyone together and just. I thought we were going after the bandits. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta make sure ever everyone in the group is on the same page, though, because. Yeah, going after the bandits and seeing what the hell Gage has been up to is definitely something we need to take care of. I guess it's just up to a vote. Go figure out Gage, see what he's up to. 
Um, I think Misty's referring to whenever... When you say bandits, are you referring to the raiders, the people Gage is with? Yes. The... Alright. Because there's a lot of different things bandits can mean. So... Any other things that you all would consider aside from doing that right now? Yeah, making sure that the uh, casters in the city have been issued the books with the uh, with the, uh, the uh, with the sp with the uh, spells the elves needed for cultivating crops, so they can work on that. Let's find the chicken. Alright. That wouldn't take long. I'd say that's like a day or two of teaching. Mm -hmm. Probably just a day, like, make sure they have all the things that they need and they can learn. Mm -hmm. And their own while are out. Alright. Well, here's map. Everybody loves map. Where you are going would be over here. As you can see, there are mountains in the way. Yeah, it's fine. We just teleport there and then travel south. Yep. Normally, you're talking, it would normally take two forty eight miles just to get there when we can just teleport and be there in 24. Yep. Yep. Alright. In that case, uh, let me grab those tokens. No problems. As you all would be walking along, you would see some red appear on your uh, pit buck. Five in total. Well, there's you can see that there's more moving around, but it's air stacked over each other for the most part and you can't tell if they're all right near each other Why is what, where, always... sir? red dots on your uh hit buck compass as you walk there from the military base you teleport to oh Upon being closer, you would see that there's a roll perception, and I'll tell you what I'll let you see. Is it still on you? Yes. Alright. Alright, so 
Misty, Trainwreck, and Masher, you will pass. You would see as you all approach that there have been sort of blockade set up along the road. Clearly some raider slash ganger sorts of ponies up ahead. Mm. In the rocks. You would be coming in from this direction. Oh, you already got root. Okay, I was about to grab him. Yeah, do we do, uh, did we ever figure uh, figure out his uh, f his HP and whatnot? Because the info I've got here does not exactly give that. How is HP calculated again? I don't really know. I or, say, animal companions are done differently than PC, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Because you, you gave Pixie an HP pull of 100, so... I don't know. Pixie is smaller, I'll give Root 200. So I should probably update Pixies because she's been like doing stuff. Mm, and for AP? Uh, for AP. He has. Uh... I'm looking at perks and making sure that all of his attacks can actually be done if I give him the right AP. Who has 11 agility or close to it? And tell me your AP. 11 agility would be 100 AP, I believe. In that or wait. Yes, no, what? I'll give him 80. Yeah, because it's 45 plus 5 times agility. So if you have 11, that would be 100. Alright, yeah, I'll give him 80. Okay. He is not. He is not a PC, so it's a bit different. Okay, good to know. I'm just gonna edit his thing a bit. Oh, you're you're already editing it. Okay, never mind. That's fine. you do as you all approach. These people are right on your compass. They are hostile. Yeah, an ambush. This takes me back. 
Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> So as we start to get close, Messi's just going to call it. So, is this the part where you surrender, or is this the part where we decide to tear you guys apart? And in that case, roll initiative after I add the turn order and clear it. Now, roll initiative. So you have chosen... Poorly. Turn. Turn. load. Thank you. Um, next. All of their initiatives on there. Get in descending order, and there we go. Misty goes first, and thus, well. Oh, anyone else who wants to go first can. And one sec. Uh, to do... first. Yes. Er, not Flurry. Not Flurry is my first answer. Hmm. I can get to any of these guys in one movement action. Sorry. Oh, they're either. Um, let me look. More in depth of their stuff. Uh, they do not have a helmet, no. Omae wa shinderu. Omae wa mo shinderu. Nani? Nani? Alright. 
And I guess I should activate Rock Smasher. You know, I figured may as well double that damage. May as well become the Hulk. No, it would be She Hulk, obviously. Come on. I don't think Train Wreck's a good wall here. Yeah. yeah oh, but she's Rex not a good cool. scientist either. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, that is a miss. Perhaps. They just there see as the ground quakes beside them. And there we go. 291 um. damage. Uh. Either they would have to e. Um, immortal or have really great DT because they are dead. They they don't have either of those things. Mm. Uh, so that's fifteen move, fifteen activate. Uh, first attack. Uh, uh, only thing I can do is I move and then end my turn now. All right. All right, I think I'll take a go, uh, take a little go and finally a chance to practice one of the few offensive spells that I've been stu been studying for the past thirteen years. <laughs> Gonna take uh, this guy here and let's see if my um, how my training goes. Excellent. And what is this spell? Energy Strike Fire. Oh. <laughs> it's um, Kai done? Yeah, they had to move again. And we're out of AP. So that's. Okay. A plus. Let's see how this. Okay, my potency is five. That uh, so that's twenty plus thirty fifty fifty plus forty ten. Wait, so you're casting the expert level? Yeah. On which one? Mm, up here, hiding behind uh, behind the ruined building. That's more of a dumpster than a building, but whatever. Mm. Cause if I've do uh, done my math right, the AOE is only a few feet, and the dumpster should absorb the stuff that's. Uh, what's that's What's your potency? Five. Wait, it's five. Fifteen. Okay. Well, theoretically, it could reach Pixie, but with the dumpster there, I'd argue cover, so yeah. Yeah, the dumpster's fine. Mm -hmm. It keeps the blast of it to back there. So that's 76 fire damage. Wonderful. Someone in the background is having a fight with a chair. Hmm. Fun. Alright, so... That explodes for 76 fire. Bum -bum. Okay, yeah, let's... Probably not going to go great. Fire cuts through DT, right? Yep. Uh, only fire resistance is what they have. I doubt they have any. Does DR affect it at all? No. That's why fire is dangerous. Not even natural DR? 
No. Okay. It, it's elemental. <laughs> That's why they're elemental resistance. If DR affected element types yeah, yeah. up to, DR would be so effing busted beyond what it already yeah, is. Yeah, true, true. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab my food. Yeah, elemental is uh, some nasty stuff. Well, that's why it usually is either something like flamers, flamer, yeah, or or spells. Where the spells are supposed to have a decent strain cost that you can't and just spam. throw them about willy nilly. Yeah. Why Misty kept running out of strain so quickly early on? Because yeah, you were using the big guns really early. Uh, well, thing is, there are barrels of oil and whatnot behind them. Is oil explosive or just flammable? I don't remember. Hmm. On the floor, it's flammable. In a barrel, explosive. Well, I'm gonna Is it because the heat will cause it to expand? And cause I'm, gonna give it, I'm gonna give it two turns while that fire burns and like cooks the barrel. So in two turns, there's gonna be an explosion of three barrels up there. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be way too late to do anything. But all right. So, okay. Uh, Barry, just let me double check to make sure I didn't forget my AP cost. They're behind a crate, a wooden crate, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, expert costs 45 mm -hmm. AP. Blah. Yeah. So, that leaves me with 30, so. Uh, you can do a basic if you want to do basic. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll work. New. Kind of new with the whole spell casting thing. I still haven't done anything with it. Okay, so the basics of basic fire spell goes off. So that is potency times four twenty. Oh wait, I think I I messed up my math because the uh, expert one that's. 30 plus potency times 4. 5 potency times 4 times 20, 20, 30. Uh, never mind, I did my math right. Sorry, again, still new. So, this would be 30 plus 1d10. I'm just doing fire effects. So thirty-five to the same uh, say, uh, to the same guy, uh, same guy who got uh, who uh, I behind the dumpster. Burn him. Only thirty-five. All right. And I'd say the fire damage that he's going to take will kill him next round or the one after. And how far out does that go? I know it doesn't hit Pixie because of the dumpster. That one is... Zero AoE. It was the basic. Yeah. I meant the other one because I'm like doing fire effects. I don't want to know how far out these uh, go. Ten feet. Alright, thank you. Twenty. It's five feet per increment, so it'd be... 75, 50, 25, and then... Yep. Alright. Oh, so I guess it'd be 50. Yep, area it's area of, area of effect increased to five fifty twenty five. Okay, so I guess only fifteen. All right, fifteen. Oh, yeah. All right, so basically the area I have it in. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of what I figured it was anyway. So, anything else, no, Barry? That'll be my turn. That'll be my turn. Although oh. now I think I think I think I should have root make a make a move for the first time. So yeah. Okay. So 
So distance to here, 70 feet. Uh, let's see, that the sound looks like it'd be two movement actions. I think. Uh huh. So that's 30, leaving him with 50. Oh, switch. And now. Going to, going to bite him. I'm going to bite him. The I, butt. I can get two bites in. That counts as an... <sighs> hmm. Let's see. Unarmed would that be, right? Yes. Ooh, he's only got 15 unarmed. What's his melee? Because I might have gotten the two mixed up when I made him. Uh, it's no melee listed. It's just saying all others is thirteen. Uh, you know why? It's because he wasn't doing combat at the time. And here, I'm fixing it real quick. Need to edit, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eh, sorry for the delay. It's fine. Alright, there we go. He has 30 unarmed. Not great, but it's better than 13 for sure. He will get better with experience, like in Morrowind. So he's actually going to be able to improve that. It's like any other skill. Okay. Well, at least the, at least this guy here has got I uh, got uh, got root, uh, root snapping at him, and sort of basically he's stuck between a heavy hoof and some sharp teeth. Would you like to be bitched by the dog or punched by the Hulk? These are your options. <laughs> well, there's always surrender. I don't think they understand the meaning of that word. That one might. It was not necessarily raider-esque. More ganger. But also, it's fallout, so. They'll get the concept. <laughs> All right, who goes after Barry? If no one else says anything in the next five seconds, I'll go. Go ahead. Ready. The target, the yellow one here. Take your time, roll twenty. Take your time. Okay, so that's 62 damage, and another 76. Yeah, that one right there. On this raider here? Alright. Yes. 31, 36, 40. Uh, yeah, the well, the 31 was a crit. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 62. Mm. Okay. 
he is not having a happy day. He is barely clinging to life. That much is obvious. How tall is more? That? How uh, tall is the thing behind him? You mean the thing in front of him? Well, yeah, how much, yeah, how tall is this cover? Chest height. It's one of those uh roadblock things. So the yeah, glass talking about high wall. Yeah. It's the uh vault tech barricade thingy. The Fall Four and whatnot, all those games. It's basically that thing. I don't know what it's actually called. All right, then I'm going to run up to set cover. And stab him over it. At a minus five, I'm. Five AP short for a proper, so a bit of a wild swing. This. Nope. All right. And anyone else going before Misty actually completes her turn? Eh, eh. Don't forget about Soul Aurora and Flurry Heart. Flurry, I. Is the non-combatant. She's non-combatant, for one. She does know some combat stuff, but I need to work on it, still. So, basically... Yeah, she's the escort for the escort mission. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, uh, she, uh, we're uh, letting her acclimate before she gets heavy into the fighting. Yeah. Get Wait, used to the world. She can still cast shields, can't she? Yes. Yeah, she's, she's got a lot of trick. Well, there we Just go. need to finish work. working on it because I intended to talk to Misty at some point during the week and I got caught up with work. But yeah, casting shield spells sounds like a little thing that she can do. Or casting haste on everyone else that Misty doesn't. That too. I mean, that is that is advanced magic. Not sure. It, it depends on what her school what is slash was for one. Yeah, I know she's gonna do defense magic for one, obviously, but I need to work on her more. So she's here rooting you on like a cheerleader for right now. Also dodging bullets. Probably a bit panicked, but yeah. As for Sol, um, I'm just going to save her for later, because she is actually on the turn order. I did remember for once. Yay. Pixie rolled some good damage. 51. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Woohoo! And she'll run over here. The bite is warning. So she gets three more bites. Um, nom nom. Fifty-one, forty-nine, forty-two. And she retreats back to Flurry. What is her DT? I'll just add it to the general health bowl that I'll make math simpler. For who? For me. Well, no. Are you talking about Pixie's DT or something else? The person she's biting. 
Ah. Uh. I don't think any of us would know, uh, would know what our DT is. Yeah, that's why I'm just adding it to our age people to okay. make math easier. And they're dead. Dang, okay. Um Okay. Misty will come over here and attack. AP heavy. Does that cut through all DT? Yes. And I assume that's with your axe, right? No, that's with her her blade moots. Oh well, yeah. That, she, that she, makes... She's she abandoned the axe. I don't want to say forever ago, but <laughs> once once she got to blade moat level three, she started abandoning the axe, and with blade moat level four and five, it was like, yep, yeah, nope. This is this is all that she needs. All right. And then... They're alive. How about now? Still alive. Wow, more than 221 health. Impressive. Bye. Their heads rolling around on the ground. Hmm. I'm not sure she can do it with ten it with with ten AP left, but she's basically just gonna look at the turn towards the last one alive, barely alive back there, and go like, "You really want to go?" There is another one alive right down here. No, that one's dead. That one was alive. Yeah, that one's dead. Right. Sorry, I just didn't put an X on it. So, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it took, like, 291 damage. What? <laughs> it comes back from the dead. But, yeah. Um, the thing is, if that guy runs, they're gonna die from fire. If that guy stays, he's gonna die from fire. <laughs> And he kind of just accepts that and kills over in the fire. Um, you can see. Wow, how drugged up do you have to be to be to, to react like that? Wow, that's that's actually kind of horrifying. Yeah. You can see on your pit books that there are more coming in, or adults coming in from. This path down here, down on this cliff, some side somewhere, and from further up the road. I'll take point. It's only where you're gonna sit at, move your tokens to where you would will try and be at. Uh, are there some coming up from, uh, here? Yes. Uh, if you come down the path. Oh, well, it's yeah, wrong. The up will go that way, then. Uh, be careful. Exploding, uh, explosion's imminent. Yeah, there is... Th these barrels will explode soon, so maybe be a bit further away. Because it would be apparent when you're up there, and it's not like something that you don't know about.
And you said there would be some coming from down below, down. down from the bottom of the map. This is a cliffside, about 10 to 12 feet deep. So they're not going to be coming up anytime soon unless they whoop back around and come up the road. But still a good place to rain fire down upon them. That's not where they're actually going to be, like, how they're arranged, but I'm doing their GM later. Right. You, you over here, like that. You there, you over here. All right. would be one of their turns because this is still technically the same combat. I just gotta add them to the turn order. So whenever I can use them, use rule 20 and have things work properly. Probably gonna learn an entirely new program just to do my next campaign. Because sometimes real time gets on my nerves. Okay, sorry if I'm being confused for a stupid reason, but did we have a turn to prepare or are they just showing up? I told you you could move and whatnot, so yeah, okay. I, I'll let you prepare as well. Alright. Because that doesn't seem fair to let you move and not prepare. That doesn't make sense. Well, by prepare, I meant, like, make a move. I was. Uh, I must have missed that. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. Well, if that's if that's the case, then I'll ready a sp ready a sp uh, another one of the spells I've been meaning to try. Yeah, you can have a ready to action, whether it's an attack, a spell, whatever. Okay. But that's it. Seven points. Five mouse, not seventy five. Okay, I'm not giving a rate seventy five AP. That's insane. Minus twenty. Okay, ready for action. They all rode really low initiatives, for the most part.
sorry if it was taking so long. But yeah, you all get an action before they do. A single action. Spell whatever you want. It does still cost AP. Yeah, I've got I uh, got my spell preloaded, so as soon as soon as I, as a target moves into range, I shall release it. I'm fine. Since you're all good, I'm going to Okay, yeah, that's not gonna happen this turn. Um Poppy. And that costs that much you pick got it. All three of those were on Misty. And they're reserving the rest of their AP for their uh, repairing. Them you, can, you can ignore the counterattack aspect. So, blocked one, blocked two, did not block the third. So, the third pistol hits. Doesn't do any damage, but. But it anyway. hits. Okay, so of these three, which one looks like they're the... They, uh, uh, you know what? I'm, saying, I'm just going to release my spell on this guy. Alright. Eldritch Knives. Oh. Cast at the expert level, so I summon the versatility plus seven. Thirteen knives. At potency divided by two, rounded down, plus thirteen damage per knife. So that is... You have to cast the spell again. Ah. Uh, in that case, I have to wait until my turn, don't I? Yeah, because Elder Shines is a two action or, or two casting action spell. Because th that's the big thing, is if you spend the last of your AP on one turn to summon the knives and then you get hit, you lose the spell. And you have to re summon them next turn. Ah. Uh. That, that's supposed to be part of their downfall or, or counter is like someone could say well if someone prepares all their shines I prepare an action to shoot them after their form sort of thing mm. yeah because otherwise that spell is stupid OP I mean it's still pretty stupid OP but at least there's you know <laughs> once you know someone has it you have a form of way of counting mm. so yeah at this point, yes. at this point, I'm keeping the knives behind the barrier, so hopefully they so they shouldn't be able to see them. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So that, that person can't do anything because they're down there. All right. So yeah, I'll be waiting for my next turn then to unleash. Uh, Masher, what did you reserve slash? You. You know what I mean. I 
I just reserved a uh, shot with the rifle. Just one question. Of the uh, gray earth pony and the... I'm assuming that's a canterlot ghoul. Which one showed up first? Ping them. Uh, there is no canterlot ghoul. It's just the okay. token looking like that. Uh, okay. This one would show up first, and yeah, and then Mr. Gray. Yeah, and then Mr. Gray. Well, I'm gonna go at the one that looks like a Ganalot Ghoul, but isn't. They're mocking you. It isn't their fault they have burn marks all over their body? Yes, it is. It's no better than to play with fire. I don't even know where you're at. I feel like I should, oh, you're right there. You blend so well into the map. He's he's pulling a screaming eagle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm like right on top of them, basically. <laughs> 40, 40, 32. Slash GR. Slash GR. They are alive. Train wreck. What did you res You moved up there. Did you observe any action or anything? Uh, nope. Barry, you already did your action, so yeah. Here's the raider that Masher just shot. They are not happy. I should hope not. They can do this how many times? I'm just going to say that many times. One, two, three. There's a minus 10 to hit for all of these because of where you're at. Compared to them. But would that make the first one no longer critical? No. That would make the third one not hit. The fourth one, and then the fourth one just hits, and the fifth one is a solid. Yeah. So last two hit, and the first one's crit. So let me do. You can do the math because. Yeah, you know, I'll do you the don't math. have much stuff you have. And these are just body shots, right? Just body shots. Still has a reserved action to shoot anybody that she sees, but she can't really effectively shoot all that well. Well, she could. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say hey, she can shoot over this car. That's fine. Oh, uh, who's getting shot? Nobody. She misses. Oh, uh, I meant the uh, gat time thing. Oh, actually. that was me. Asher had to deal with people shooting at him. Yeah, and all don't the, like them. Uh, most of what they managed to do 
was just piss him off. And that's a lot of AP for not that much payoff. But also they're a raider. They're stupid. I'll just do this instead. This makes more sense. What was that? Good question. Yeah, I that was in my household. I think someone sneezed and it was just extremely violent. I don't know, that was my cat doing something. Alright. Uh, the O's are all against Misty. Hmm. Well, let's... I probably need to remove... Yeah, I... I'll, I'll figure out a second macro for later for now. Just ignore the uh, counterattack thing, because I can't counterattack ranged attacks. So I countered their critical hit with my own critical hit. Eh. And... I'm doing a lot of crits today. Okay, yep. All their attacks got blocked. All right. Time for the last rear that's near you. He gonna run up to you and try and smack you with his. I think he has a stick, actually. What does he actually have? Oh, he has a tire iron. Eight point one damage. Yeah, you just managed to piss him off. All right. This raider tries and smacks Misty three times with a tire iron. Well, the first two miss, so I don't think I'm even allowed to parry those. Okay. Um. So this is just against the third one. Which, that's 34... Yep, I parry, so they take Amber Post, so that's 104 damage. Or 108 math. I was about to say, you're, you're selling yourself... Yeah, bit, 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 bit. You're selling yourself short, I can speak. Yeah. I, I suppose we should explain real quick to the viewers that we're using an adjusted... Uh, blade caster martial art that was created by Dr. Axton, MD. Uh, yeah, because the original... one in the book, it, yeah. <laughs> the one in the book is you spend like six perks just to have a weapon that's only maybe as good as the magical energy blade. So, so we, we did a bit of tinkering. Yeah, so this is training plus five perks with the defense lying C made a single double defense and reach styles quote unquote. Oh, yeah, so. that's right. oh they're right here. Some of these people anyway. are the end of the map. And I'm like, where is this person? They're going to do the exact same thing that their buddy did and failed to do. Uh, 
this is three attacks, all right. I'm going towards, wait, no, two attacks because I have to move. Two attacks going towards Trainwreck's face. Yeah, they missed terribly. See how their buddy does. Uh, okay. One, two. Three, four, five, and six. All body shots are trying to hit train mode. And it's this dude. And then one more attack, and it's back to normal combat, so everyone will be on their proper turns and everything. Now the question is... Hmm. This person is holding a hammer, so yeah, they're not going to be able to do anything. I mean, I, they could try throwing it, but I don't think they're as good at it as Thor. Mighty Gray Man with his uh, ballpoint hammer. No, 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 no. That's not how you throw amateurs. Copy and um, I forgot to include this last time, though I don't think it's gonna matter. This guy's gun does an extra 2d10 damage against you, also. Yeah, but I don't think it's gonna matter anyway, so. He has 85 AP. This is that much. Okay. It's Vortex. On Misty. And then it's her turn, and everything's back to normal. Yay. Those four pistol attacks are on Misty. Okay. I mean, I could parry, but at this point, I'm just going to save time and not bother parrying unless it can actually bypass my DT to save us time. Alright. In that case, it is Misty and basically everyone else to join. Oh, my minions! Conquer your posts! Something. Okay, so now to finally launch those Eldritch Knives. Uh, on uh, this guy. And. Da -da -da -da, Eldritch Knives. DT. This target applies half of his armor's DT right down against the total damage. And they ignore shields. So half DT and no shield. Got it. Yeah, no shield and half DT against the whole thing. So half DT versus 195. To the, uh, to, yeah. 
to the ganger with a leather jacket. Does he actually have a leather jacket on? Well, that's what the, uh, that's what the token looks like, at least. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the token actually has on. Yeah. Yeah. Slash GR. Minus ninety five. He is still alive. That's a very durable leather jacket. Full of knives. <laughs> and what, I'm guessing when you're doing the second casting action, it's the same amount of AP for both actions for the spell that you use? Mm-hmm. Okay. At least to my knowledge. So, once again, that leaves me with 30... So that means I can just do a basic level spell. Hmm. Uh, well, why not? Might as well go and test out a little bit of everything, just to run a uh, run through a uh, run uh, run through everything and see how everything works. Yeah. Excellent. That is a basic level energy strike lightning. Oh, shocking. So that's. Potency times 4, tw uh, 20 plus 10, 30 plus 1d10 electrical damage, ignoring dt. Well, roll it. Show him why you are feared across 17 everywhere. Zap. Just found an unopened Butterfinger. And it Order. is not... It is not expired. And happy. He is still alive. That cuts through half mm -hmm. each of right? That uh, that ignores all his DT. It's a lightning right. spell. So, yeah, so it'd be electrical resistance you'd be looking at. Because yeah. I didn't it has that many. It's still alive. But having a very bad day. Uh-huh. Yep. That'll be my turn, though. Alright. Anyone else back on Misty's turn before Misty herself? Uh, yep. Oh, wait, I forgot, uh, about, I forgot about Root. Sorry. Go ahead and do whatever you're doing. Uh, yep. Because it's and just good. Just yep. what it is. But go ahead and do the rolls. He actually, uh, Root actually got a bite in this time. That boy has earned himself a steak. Five strength. So... That's 10 plus 2d10 AP light.
20, uh, 20, uh, 21 damage at, at, at light armor pen on the bounty hunter. Light ignores how much? Uh, I think it's five, isn't it? Uh, yeah. what, uh, armor piercing? Armor piercing light, yeah. Yeah, five. Five, yes. Yeah. Mm, yeah. All right. He, ha he is still alive. And looks like he's about to die. From anything. If you threw a needle at him and it just touched him, he'd die. Sorry, I hurt my chest. I hurt my chest just now, so. Ah. Alright. Um. Train wreck. Do your thing. Alright. Uh, activate Rock Smasher again. And. Here. And. Headshot the Mohawk one first. Mohawk man is dead. Mohawk man. Mohawk and man. another headshot. You have rattled both of their brains mm -hmm. while simultaneously turning their heads into red paint. And with my last movement action, uh, let's see. I'll just go over here. Hi, Barry. Sorry <laughs> about all the blood on my hooves. And that'll be my turn. Alright. Get my stuff out of the way. Once again, <clears throat> shooting at the not cantalot ghoul. Alright. Waiting and waiting. And waiting and waiting. Take your time, roll 20. Take your time. Well, then, stop sounding like you're trying to rush that. It's nice. Mixed signals here. <laughs> Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? So, 40 and 34. 40, 34. Got it. He is dead. She. Whatever they are. Tango down. Moving to Mr. Gray. Thirty-four and thirty-seven. I had to make sure that one didn't miss. Three, four, three, seven. Thirty-four. He is not dead. Uh, souls attack. It's crit. It and crit because it's twenty for her first round of attacks, which I love. Alright, so. Slash roll and then just copy that. Twenty 
165. This guy dies. Just instantly turn into plasma. How much DT does this person have? It probably won't help them at all, but... Yeah, this person dies. But it wasn't a crit that killed this one, so they don't get turned to plasma, sadly. Uh, how can I mark that this guy's plasma? Oh, I don't forget. Green uh, dot? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll do. And then this guy gets turned into plasma. So, your guardian angel with a plasma rifle. Yay, so good job. Misty, your thing before the remaining people attack. Is it just the two to the south left? Uh, I think Looks so, like yeah. It. Yep. It's just these two that are. Definitely not having a great day. That would be a 12 foot drop, so. I mean, flying. That's yes, fair. Yes, I She is flight rank 3, which means she is the equivalent of flight rank 1 in her power. So that was 15, 17, 85. Hiya! Oh. Ow. Uh, pretty sure that's going to be dead, because that's 354 damage. <laughs> this raider turns to flee before you slice them into a thousand pieces. Well, they should have prepared to flee like a second sooner so I could see that they were trying to flee. Wait, 50, 30? Oh, I'm on minus. 50, because I didn't subtract the attack, so that's where attack against this one. Tobias moan for the me meow. Yeah. Now for the people watching. I'm tired. And this is at a minus five because it's a wild swing. They did. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear combat order now. We don't have to do it later. Okay. So they die. Pretty brutal deaths. Two becoming headless, another one getting catapulted in off of a cliff, specifically this one, because now that I think about it, they would have fallen down here from like, smacking them with her fist. And then two of them got turned to plasma. They had a fun time. Flory Heart is almost slightly traumatized. <laughs> yeah. You all right over there? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Just give me a minute. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, we did try to warn you. This is a pretty common thing in the wasteland. Yeah, how are you doing, hon? I believe that was directed at you, train wreck, and you're still muted.
I think uh, Zerkai said that they were uh, tired or something. Huh? What? Uh, your wife asked you how you're doing, or something like oh, that. Oh, I, I, hmm? I, I didn't hear what was going on. Eh, Barry asked Trainwreck how she was doing. Uh, fine, uh, it's, it's a little strange getting back into the swing of things, especially with the heavy armor, but turned out fine. Yeah. Yeah, for better or for worse, we're back. Mm. Back from the past samurai track. samurai track. God, now that's going to be stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I will not apologize. <laughs> uh, for samurai track, anyway. I say that's, that probably went went pretty well. Probably got a chance to put some of the spells I learned to the test. I almost am certain that you're going to be looting, so I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. Mm -hmm. The only problem with turning people into plasma, you don't get any loot. But but you're still to get loot in, loot in the full in the Fallout games. I'm ninety percent sure there's a rule somewhere in the book. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember reading it. There's an entire perk based around how you don't. Don't turn people into plasma whenever you get criticals to say to preserve their loot. Hmm. Not sure if that's a perk or trait, but I know it's a yeah, it's a perk. To be fair, though, considering she's an NPC, couldn't she just have that perk? I already have her perks figured out. She's going to start leveling up soon, along with the party. I'm just waiting for them to reach her level. Because she's higher level than all of you. I think, still. She might be at the same level as you. will have to double check. Was she level 15 or level 20? I think it's level 17. Or 18. One of the two. I'm almost done with the loot. I gotta get the guy that's burning in fire. Actually, did you go to the guy that's burning in fire? There was also an explosion over there. And that everything's also more on fire. Oh. I'm just gonna leave his loot out. <laughs> and there, there's always telekinesis. Yep. That's fair. And we've got two horn heads, uh, heads who have telekinetic precision. Also fair. I was about to say who have telekinesis, and I'm like, but there's more. But wait, there's more. In a way, I think you'd have three, because I am planning on giving that to Flory, because... Why wouldn't you take that? <laughs> He has, he has, he's one of the ones that has some of the, like, one of the longer loot list as well. There'll be a lot of repeats in what's about to be posted, so just know that. Just know that. Because I didn't, like, combine all the loot list into one, I just pasted them all. One after another, so give Roll20 a minute. It's, it's got a ketchup. There we go. A 
I think they're like random drug and 1d10 this or 2d10 that. Uh, don't count that yet. I'll figure it out in a bit. A 10 millimeter repeater. That's a usually that's pretty, typically a pretty good gun. If I recall correctly, that is. Uh, even stuff we don't use could probably be used to, uh, you know, resupply uh, Salvation City. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything has its use. Better than a sharp stick to the eye. Ah, uh, I see you too are a man of culture. <laughs> well, at least if you're making the reference I think you're making. I don't know what reference am I making. And thus I lose cult, man of culture status. Okay. So, aside from doing the loot, obviously, what else would you be doing before heading off again, if anything? And patching up any major damage if any it was taken, which it looks like none was. All right. Do I have so many people with so much stuff? Ah. Yeah, I'll just figure out all this a little bit later. Um, as you head out, you would continue on your path at roughly right here. I'm moving you back to the big map in just a second. Once I can find you, you're hidden behind the turnover. On roll 20. Load for me. You're roughly about right here. Oh wait, right here on the train track. You would see right off in the distance to your side. If you don't investigate it, then I won't put you on that map. It would be on. You're just gonna continue on past it. There's roughly eight good dots in that direction. You can hear gunfire. I mean, Misty can go scout, I guess. It's up to you guys. If you do nothing, oh well. Sky, I'll sky it out just to be safe. Mm -hmm. so it, might, it might be a traveling merchant in need of help, so... If, if it's just some people attacking, like, wild animals or whatever, then we don't care, but... I can feel that, yes. I am high in the sky. Oh, heck. I'll take that. Take that all day. Oh, 16 versus 86. Yeah. It's pretty good. It should actually be 90, but yeah. Guess I haven't updated in a while. Copy those. 
And that. Okay. Copy those together. Delete. And then... Paste. <laughs> that, that icon for the party is great. <laughs> <laughs> you like? Yeah, I remember that video. <laughs> Wait, what? The delay animated a little pep walking. I, I didn't realize it was from a video. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it now, though. I know what you're talking about, and I don't remember it either, but it's great. <laughs> I think it fits the party well, don't you agree? Yep. Alright. You lot, over here. Sorry, token stuff, figuring out. Also, this map is... Bigger than I would want it to be. Give me a second while I fix this map, because things on it are too big. Map and background. There we go. That should shrink things down. Okay, yeah, that's much better. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. Just ignore the white out, white empty space on this map whenever I drop you on here, okay, mister? Sure. What is it, Discord? As you get close to the eight blips on your map, you would be able to see the scene unfolding in front of you. Oh no, not unfolding. What looks like three all alcorns have pinned some soldiers, it seems. Mm. You can read name tags, right? Yep. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. But would Misty know the NCR symbol? Oh, well, more. <laughs> I was about to say that sounds like an Ekin lore. Uh, let's see where to go. Okay, can't believe I haven't made a macro for that yet. You haven't. I haven't made a macro for anything. <laughs> yes, you would know the NCR insignia. Ones by the uh, armored vehicle of sorts that you see would be green on action and what game quest and everything. But the alicorns are very much red. There's also radiation, some explosive missiles on the ground, and a pile of scrap metal, as well as two trees. So. Okay. Well, basically, 
<laughs> yeah, we'd have to kill the NCR people for that fashion. That's not gonna happen. Um, I'm trying to remember. Did we ever get radios or anything to work between our pit bucks while yes, we were in the past? We okay. Oh, uh, no. I thought you were talking about something else. You do have yeah. walking walkies, if I remember yeah. correctly. From back in the past, whenever you were okay. separated. I gave you a walkie. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. I was say, it's like, I, I know I made sure to get us something. I just couldn't remember what it was. Okay. Uh, so, Missy's going to activate her walkie-talkie and say, uh, 5 NCR against 3 Dips, who seem to be the aggressors going to see if I can de-escalate. And then with Blade Mutts all around her, she's going to slam into the ground right in the middle. Yeah, meanwhile, uh, Sherrick's going to be making her way to the location while this is happening. <laughs> uh, you for don't forget that Barry can teleport now, too. Hmm. Well, you have to have seen the place. Uh, one second, one second. I do believe I have a spell for that. Or line of sight. I was going to say, yeah, if mm. if Barry has the scrying magic, it's literally scry teleport. A la d d <laughs> There's a reason why most worlds find a way to ban scry and fly. Okay, where is it? Where is it? I know I've well, got I'm... in there. Ah, here it is. Arcane High. Ah, yes. That's a spell I've used a few times in the campaign already. Not with yeah. any one you all interact with on a regular basis. So it's one of those, I don't know how that works, but if all Barry needs to do is, like, say, cast it on Misty, like, hmm. I don't know if it's... Cast it uh, somewhere based on, like, something she knows, which, Misty, that's fine. Yeah. Cast, you know, I'm seeing you. Yeah. Hey, can you see the area? Hmm. <laughs> yep. And I'm gonna do just that. Ca uh, cast Arcane Eye, then cast Teleport. As well, for uh, Trainwreck and Masher and all of them that have to walk, it's about a 30-minute walk. Okay. Uh... Well, okay, I'll just say two things. One, Barry... Do, do you, what levels your teleport? Do you not have expert in that? Of course, I've got experts. It'd be a wait a wasted thirteen years if I didn't have expert. Well, I'll I'll, I'll ask something else later. Because with, with expert, a Barry could teleport everyone, and B, are you really teleporting the entire party between two? Aggressive units before I've had a chance to try to deescalate. As soon as you give the uh, gi uh, give the word uh, a word, boom, uh, okay. I'll, I'll pop in. Okay, because it's like, yeah, it's pretty not a good idea to bring in flurry and a couple of the others because there seems to be some pretty heavy stuff going on here. Yeah, I'll... changeling queen just pops in and then followed by flurry. Hello. I'll just be keeping an eye in the sky with the arcane eye. Yeah. Alright. You drop in, blade moat's all about. Okay. The Missy's basically going to... Between... Sorry. Uh, continue, continue. Because okay. I, I want to know everything you're doing first. Okay. Basically, the idea is she's trying to, like slam into the ground and, you know, try to, that immediate take charge of, okay, everyone stand down before I put you down and explain what's going on. Does she actually say that? I was better phrasing than what I just did. <laughs> um, yeah, because that's, that's a pretty important like, thing. <laughs> Sorry, brain words aren't 
doing yeah. the greatest, especially oh, since that was like five minutes ago I had in mind what I wanted to say. Um, <laughs> Brain, sorry. Um, this is why I hate getting interrupted with the with, with the stuff. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I I can't. It's fine. It's fine. Um, as you drop in and say whatever it was you're going to say, whenever you think of it, if you do, just type it out what you were going to say. The purple alcorn front and center here is slightly taken aback at the sudden appearance of alcorn. And then she looks more shocked. You're in power armor, aren't you? Mm. You're in power yeah, armor? Yeah, the, the, the same set that was given to her in, in the past. It's still something that she would be shocked about, like just the sight of this very. Well, yeah, I know pattern. it's a very striking set of armor. I'm not disagreeing about that. One of the troopers from their side of the uh, combat here. Would yell out, the these abominations started attacking us. Which probably. Yeah, the, none of the alicorns over on the other side are too happy with being called abominations. Their horns starting to glow with, like, preparation to continue assault of magic. But the purple one does begin talking to you. Tele Purple is teleport, blue is invisibility, green is telepathy, right? Mm-hmm. Green right. is feel. I don't remember who is telepathy. Purple is teleport and telepathy, I think, right? Purple is teleport... No, no, no. no. Purple is teleport, blue is invisibility, and green have telepathy and, uh, uh, you know, the shields... Okay. The greens are the best, got it. Yeah. Don't tell Saul that. That's above board. <laughs> Purple one speaks up. Hello, fellow sister. As you can see, we are putting down some other racist scum wandering into our territory. Misty's faceplate pulls up to reply, at most you'd be an ant, and not one I'd be terribly proud of at the moment. Though, also, and she looks back to the other group, rude. <laughs> For a group that supposedly wants to keep the peace, you sure are good at trying to sound antagonistic. Learn some manners. Why did you attack them again? And sh she asked the, the purple one. They provoked us. Bye. She asked and then looks back to the NCR. I threaten to launch these missiles we see beside you on a town that we are currently residing in, simply because it's a town of our kin. On the other side of the field, well, I'm just going to say field because mm -hmm. the tr Oopers, really bruised and a bit beaten. They're not winning this fight at all. Two Ualcorns from that town attacked us two days ago. Uh, 
Actually, this is a fair ball. <laughs> oh boy, we got a he said, she said argument going on here. Yeah, well, don't worry. I'll end with an I said. <laughs> the purple one pipes up again as you see the blue one going invisible out of the corner of your eye. The purple one pipes I, up. I grab her in my telekinesis. We do not know of any affili affiliation with these alicorns they claim to have encountered. Though, as you can see, the only damage inflicted on this vehicle is scratches and burns we've put on it. They were in perfect health when we found them. Okay. Above board question. Did I succeed in getting the blue alicorn in my magical grasp? Uh, roll for it. Magic or magic? Yeah, it, it's it's telekinesis. Okay. Waiting for roll twenty to register. Fine, I'll do it. Again. Well, okay. So I guess we're gonna get two rolls, maybe. You would feel a slight resistance in your telekinesis of something trying to move. But they're clearly invisible. You have, and roughly where you, you left them, where they were, you have a hold of them. Yes. Okay. Just gonna move them down so I can change their layer. I do say. You are not like the usual of my kin. That's because I'm not one of your kin. And she looks back at the NCR. What were the color of the two who attacked, and why do you say that they're residents of the town? Green one and blue one. Uh, says a palmer blue unicorn out at the back side. The veteran. Yeah, the veteran. Hmm. But the purple one wears an eyebrow that you're saying that you're not one of their kin. You are now. I missed the last part. I must last for what they said about the purple, sorry. Oh. She just raises an eyebrow at your comment of not being of their kin. You're an alicorn. Are you not? Yeah, but I'm natural. The green one kind of looks over to the purple one. Clearly saying something in their telepathy. I see. Do you mind coming with us to our settlement? It'll stop this salt on these NCR. Give them with a warning. We'll look back in the NCR and go when they attacked, did they take any supplies or what was the extent of their inch proper, you know, wing quotes of visit? There were two cars before we were out. Blew one of them up. <laughs> I 
Is anyone else just amused that the NCR has all Gator Dunn accents? <laughs> <laughs> yes. They <laughs> uh. blew up my pickup truck. I still had half a six pack of beer in it. Yeah, he explains that there were two cars, both armored, just like this mm -hmm. one. And they just blew one up unprovoked, so, so they say. Yes. Where is the location of this vehicle, and did anyone die? Both the driver and the team of four inside the vehicle. Is that the vehicle right there? Yeah. No, they had two. Southwest of here. How far? Mile or two. Our town will be found south of here. Three miles. If you wish to reconvene with possible friends of yours, because, let's face it, that armor is too flamboyant to be traveling alone. Meet us. I am eager to have your company. For for who wanted me to visit? Is that NCR the purple? I believe that was the purple. Her pal, yeah. So their town is to the south, three miles, and the car they destroyed is in, is one to two hours to the southwest. Northwest. Northwest. Shouldn't we have passed it? The north. The northwest is where we're coming from. You are coming from the northeast. Wait. No. no. Oh yeah, you're coming from the northwest. While you're tra and while this is all going on, Barry will uh, will while listening in will pass this on to the rest of the group, and the rest of the group can look around for this uh, blown up car while they're waiting for uh, for the sign to teleport in. This is what happens when your world map is sideways. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm, I'm never doing that again. Period. What? Because it is so much pain. Yeah, kind of wondering why you did that in the first place. Because it's how I drew it. This is where I... Speak of the controversial notion of rotate picture. That's also what I did. <laughs> yeah. From where you're at, you're on the train tracks. Currently, right now, you would be northeast of where this place is right now, this small place. So while you possibly could have encountered the car as you came past, you also could have missed it entirely. Okay. True, but the, while Misty's doing all this and the rest of us are waiting to TP in, we can still uh, double back real quick and take a look for, for ourselves and investigate. Alright, that will be perception checks from everyone doing that. I'm assuming that's what, what Masher rolled. Uh, team. Ah, 
Hey. You're you're too busy. You're too busy distracted with keeping an eye on the conversation and trying to explain to everyone else at the same time. Yeah. So that is difficult trying to listen and explain and keep an eye out. Mm-hmm. All while keeping an arcane eye still going. So yeah, literally keeping an eye out. Well, this is going. One would speak up. Who speaks up? Sorry. The purple alicorn. Okay. What is your name, sister? Hmm. Missy's just going to take out her walkie-talkie to ask party all in. As in... Or... More of a... Should I tell him? In, in like a slightly amused sort of tone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Well, once your name gets out, they'll know that we're back, so... Mm. I mean... That you're back. One hand, yes, who, who were we most wanting to try to keep it quiet from, though? Wasn't it the, the raider? Yeah, the raiders. And I think I'm going to go ahead, if only because I'd probably need to reveal it when we get to the Alicorn Town anyway. True. So, like, I may as well, just so we can also see and gauge the NCR's reaction when there's only a few of them, as opposed to we show up in their town and suddenly... <laughs> yeah. But, you know, potential guns and missiles being pointed at them. Oh. Yeah, at that point, Barry would uh, would say, "He's snow, uh, gee, snow, uh, a snowflake. It's not been that long, has it? Because you know, friend, uh, friends with uh, the, with the one point that got promoted yeah. to general, Snowflake, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, that's her name, Snowdrop, Snowdrop. not Snowflake, but so." Uh... Missy, continue. Uh, like I don't, I don't know what the correct order or whatnot would be, but she would give her, in essence, full name of you know Princess Mysterious Avalanche, you know, wife to Flurry Heart, you know, blah 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 blah. I believe the correct order is. Your title, so princess. I guess so. Technically, it'd be princess, mysterious avalanche. Ruler um, of Salvation City, and well, it would it would be royal consort to princess flurry heart because that'd be the second secondary title. Princess flurry heart and Aurora changeling. And, Aurora, and Queen Aurora. Aurora would not be important to the current uh, question. Uh, like, Aurora would still introduce herself as Princess Consort to Flurry Heart, just because that is the title that they would care about. Yeah. Alright. We're, we're making this more complex than it needs to be. Sorry. We are. Royalty. Please do. Come soon. We did have a feast planned for some time tomorrow. Speaking of which, 
we need to get back to our city. And well, you can you... move your sister back when she decides to show proper manners and become visible again. She does become visible with a nod from the purple one. She's released. They begin flying off towards the year the south. Leaving you here with the um NCR. Okay. And then she's just going to ask the NCR, like, do they have an outpost? Do they have a city? Why are they on the islands? You know, like that sort of thing. As for an outpost, looking at what is going to set up an outpost. We had many more before we got hit by these. He clearly tries to not be insulting towards you. <laughs> when we got to these alicorns. When we first arrived, back near the beach opposite of this one, the beach on the east side, the one you all originally arrived on, There was about eight vehicles and a tank. They've been whittled down as we travel across the islands. Raiders, slavers. A band of ghouls took out the tank after we stumbled upon a bed of glowing ones. All that's left. Why does the NCR one now post out here when they're struggling just to keep what they have in the main life? Things are getting better on the mainland. New leadership. And if I remember if my hunch is correct and you're part of the returners, I seem to remember uh, you all contacted us several weeks ago, almost a month ago. A month and a half. Oh, or did we? I don't recall this at all. Mm. Did yeah. the broken steel do something? Uh, Barry, con uh, Barry contacted Snow uh, Snowdrop after receiving the letter from her. Wait, are this they... is back when you got your letter about your mom being dead when and whatnot. This is back when all that was happening, whenever you were on the ship. Yeah, but again, I don't remember anything being talked about NCR. She hopped, Barry hopped on the radio and had conversation with Snowdrop and them said that they were sending some people to the islands and everything to help out with the whole, you know, factor issue. Obviously, well, they weren't all that helpful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Didn't... When that happened, didn't we already have Salvation City, or is that right before we did Salvation City? Before. This is before, yeah. Well... So if it took them that long to get here, they should have passed Salvation City along the way. We'll we'll have to sit them down and talk because clearly, like they they certainly would have passed it. Likely also have passed mud. They would have been around, yes. <clears throat> oh, what I'm hearing is we need to have a talk with Gage about how he didn't get 
DNCR to join Salvation City. Is what I'm hearing. <laughs> with, with, I mean, sorry, sorry, Hypro, without context, that is what Misty's hearing. <laughs> no, that's, that's, uh, that makes sense. It's like, we, we knew about them coming, we should have had something prepared for them coming. So, clearly something went wrong. This uh, this information was never conveyed to my character, or me as a player, though, that uh, the NCR had been contacted or were even on the island. Yeah, you had not told him yet. This is even like, before. Like, like remember, yeah, that, that, it sounds like it was way before I even showed up. Because remember, uh, the only thing he... Yeah, it was before Trainwreck, too. Yeah. The only thing... Like, you, you met Gage after... Um, after uh after salvation city Sal yeah after salvation city and uh i mean he really was just on one mission with you uh and that was that was to the uh to uh about stop the bombs at uh the hole yeah well so yeah i mean you can bring it up with him but i mean he's gonna yeah <laughs> know a thing about it in character like missy didn't know about it and it was like, well, you would have known about yeah, sure. it. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's you, your player yeah. wise forgotten. You yeah. would have known. About it. Well, or I mean, you you could have your character berate him for it. It 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 would be funny. Um, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. All right, but back to the game itself. The alicorns fly off. And you're left here with the NCR. As for you all looking for the car, you do have you do find a fried husk of a vehicle. Clearly, something either burned it to a crisp or blew it up. You're not sure if it's a military vehicle of any sort. It could be just. It could just be a big van, you're not really sure. It is completely fucked. Eh. Any, no uh, any noticeable bits mm. of evidence? Um... Give me a second. Because this might require a skill that I very rarely ask for. I know some people spec into I'm not sure if anyone in the party has spec into it, though. Hmm. Which skill? Um, survivalism, because you're looking for clues. Oh, really? No one specs into that? I thought I thought um, I thought Mystic had like a million survival. I said I don't know because I remember the last person that spec into it that I actively remember was Chain before they dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, okay, because uh, my character specked into it. Oh yeah, you you as well. Yeah. I mean that's the thing that there's so many skills that it's typically only one person in the party who can do that one skill. Yeah, the skill inflation in here is kind of a little wild. Yeah. You guys are all over the place. Yeah. It would roll, take our survivalism role to uh, figure out anything more, though. It's okay, guys. Someone will get a crit, right? And, and note that uh, Car uh, Carl is AFK at the moment. Yeah. That's why I haven't really been, like, jumping to the town yet. I'm waiting for him to get back. Because we can fill him in on, like, just things that have been said. 
pretty easily. Might as well roll it just to see. Oops. Huh. Oh, I passed. Oh, heck. Is is that a crit, Sir Kai? Um, oh, oh uh, my... It might be. Uh, I just remember my luck is maxed out. Uh, and yeah, that would mean you're... If you have 10 luck, that means you have an 11 crit range, I think. Uh, yep. That is a crit. As you're looking through the rubble of this charred, destroyed vehicle, you would find a NCR helmet with the insignia of the NCR carved into it. Hmm. Amongst five skeletons. Most of their like gear and clothing has been burnt to a crisp, but this is one thing that you can salvage out of it. Whoop. Anything that can signify what's the cause of the explosion? Whether anything that could definitively point towards the alicorns or some other form of sabotage. Uh, the uh, tank is fused is and the buys are melted pretty bad. Uh, uh, above board, do I have anything aside from, you know, the bodies are dead? <laughs> yeah, because we're not just looking for bodies. We're looking uh, looking for clues. This is a crime scene. Crime scene. Uh, C uh, CSI uh, I, uh, Fallout Equestria. <laughs> uh. It appears to be some sort of engine failure. Engine based explosion. Hmm. And that managed to burn them so badly that only their skeletons were there. Um, uh, can I tell if it was a mechanical failure, failing, or uh, whether it was used by a bomb? Explosive sabotage of some sort. Hmm. So, uh, were the internals messed around with, or was there an actual bomb? Uh, Trank would probably know which with repair and mechanics tagged and explosives. Yeah. You would be able to tell that there was a little bit of tampering, but mostly just to rig a bomb to it. Mm -hmm. Either some sort of C4, maybe, uh, possibly a souped up plasma bomb um, of some degree, as a description, but that's a lot less likely, given that you're not seeing any form of plasma around. It couldn't have been teleported into place, could it? Well, they did say a blue alicorn was uh, one of the uh, perpetrators, so... Mm, if they they a, said a green and a purple, uh, I thought. No, a green and a blue. Yeah. Green and blue. Okay. Yeah, so with a mind reader and someone who could, who could turn invisible, uh, sneaking a bomb in there is probably pretty easy. Yeah, but would they even bother with a bomb, though? That doesn't seem like Alicorn MO to me. I mean, it is when you take into account that they probably don't have explosive magic. Yeah, I probably couldn't nuke the uh, tank so they blew up from the inside. Also, Alicorn MO is kind of sketchy since all the Alicorns are just, you know, people. You know, ponies that used to be someone else. Yeah, like, that's that's all racist, yo. Yeah. <laughs> eh, that was still a uh, kind of a, a bit of a above board, but getting back in... So is uh, so is there anything here that can definitively one way or another say whether or not this was done by alicorns? Uh, nope. Just that uh, the, in the engine was messed with uh, to be wired up to uh, some uh, C four. 
Honestly, the thing that bugs me most about this is why are the NCR calling the Diptalicorns abominations when they should already have, you know, because this is post Sunshine and Rainbows. Like, yeah. they should know about them from the mainland. It's not like they've come across and, oh my gosh, this is our first interaction with Diptalicorns. Like, yeah, they're not. They're, they're supposed know, to be the all over the place. I mean, yeah, they've been roving around for the last ten years. Five to ten, yeah. So it's like, uh... Yeah, though, I wouldn't say all over the place, since even then, uh, you know, to most ponies, they were considered kind of rumors. If you look at the original story. And what is that music? I mean, that's more because... TV... That's more because Trixie was trying to have them keep a low profile, I thought, but... Then... Like, um... anyway, the, the, the point is, it's like... It shouldn't be a surprise to them, you know. Mm. So... I guess it is just up to you all. Do you all uh, come and chat with the NCR? Do you go to the town first? What do you do? I'm up for anything. I have all night. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm probably going to say a half an hour at best for me because I need to try and go to work in the morning and daylight savings time. People still adjusting. I'm lucky in that this is spring break for me. Next week starts my last eight weeks for HVAC, so yay. Yeah. Well, we got three yeah. minutes in that case if you all need to adjust and everything, but I will be like in uh, out of game talk for. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, which uh, will we go first? The. Uh... Meet, meet up with. Oh, uh, 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 I will ask now. Well, sorry, uh, will any of the bodies have uh, helmets or any noticeable armor on them? They would have helmets because helmets are made of steel and whatnot, yeah. and you're not going to blow up steel all that effectively. Dog tags? I, I, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, I just wanted to cross that off. Uh, part of me was uh, thinking for a second, uh, you know, maybe, you know, the single helmet we found among the bodies with the NCR insignia was planted. But, yeah. Yep. Yeah, because uh, there's the question are there any dog tags on the bodies? Because these kinds. Of- uh, because correct me if I'm wrong, but military organizations like this have uh, soldiers all wearing dog tags. So if they fall, you can retrieve the dog tags to make a record. On one hand, yes, but you would think that they would have already picked up yeah. the dog tags because the other, like they were traveling together. Like if yeah. the one exploded or whatever, they might have had to wait a couple hours for the fire to die down or whatever. But they'd have been able to recover the dog tags themselves. It's likely the helmet needed the crit to be found because it was hidden in such a place that it was like this thing was like dammed under some scrap metal that once was the car. Hmm. So, this is what my mind was thinking in the middle of the conversation while we were still figuring stuff out when I got the first invitation to go. Part of me is thinking we can have the alicorns and changelings go with the alicorns to, you know, listen to their story and whatnot with the idea of maybe they'll trust us more or whatnot with, you know, it being alicorn, alicorn. Though I've also maybe potentially burned part of that bridge by saying I am not dead. Um... Because my thought was like, well, you guys can work with the NCR, try to figure out, get more info from them since you're not, quote unquote, abominations. I mean, okay, various stripes, but, you know. And yeah, not <laughs> a zombie. Yeah, but the point is, like, you're all still, like, more normal for wastelanders. None of you has to do with paint. Yeah. 
So my, my thought is they might open up to you guys a bit easier and that way we can both get you know more info and whatnot via so, you know either out of game talk or DMs or whatever. So basically kind of like what we did back in the past splitting the party. Yeah. Well because at this point we both have people with access to expert level level teleport. Mm-hmm. It might suck up a ton of your strain cuz I don't know how much strain you have Barry, but and it is something that we would be able to manage. So total My thought is why not? <laughs> Total 342. Yeah, that's not bad. Even if you had to make three teleports, you could do that on that much strain. So, yeah. So, if you are splitting the party, such as you have explained, we'll do the alicorns in Out of Game Talk, and we can start with the NCR here. Sound fair to everybody? Mm. Yeah, because okay. odds are it'll the alicorn stuff will start in DM, and then mm-hmm. uh, I'll you know ha- tell, have Missy tell everyone about it in out of <laughs> game talk. Yeah, so the yeah because the stuff with rehash the, it for the viewers. Yeah, the stuff with the alicorns would pretty much just be Misty and all uh, and for lack oh, of NPCs. Yeah, for lack of a better ter- a better term, her hive. Hmm. Barry is a pseudo alicorn. Yeah, you sound like a Minecraft villager over there for a second. Hmm. <laughs> you are accurate. Or like, uh, or like a frog. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, Permit the frog here. Hmm. Permit the frog here. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So, should the rest of us teleport in to uh, recoup with Miss, uh, Misty, sh- uh, share our findings, and then do the whole splitty split? Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Because Misty should be able to explain to them fairly easily. Like, the rest of the returners are about to teleport in, if that's okay. You know, just to that's give okay. them a heads up. And then goes to speak, and they all arrive. <laughs> Pop! Goes the be- easy. Be- uh, beam-, uh, beam us in, Scotty. Right. Let's see, it's fine. Tokens. Ah. Tokens. Are you? On the other map here. Okay. Need everybody except for Misty. Misty. Oh, what's your versatility? Six. Three. Okay. You can. Oh, okay. Soul can pri- Soul or Flurry can bring in everyone else. You can only bring up to three other people with you. But with Soul or Flurry, that'd be enough for me. Soul can't really teleport, but Flurry. She didn't learn how to teleport in thirteen years. Um, no yeah. wonder she couldn't keep up with this <laughs> thing. Like heck. You can learn new spells after. Sunshine Rainbows, right? Yeah, she can teleport. I'm dumb. <laughs> no, you just don't usually. Being sent to the past for 13 years isn't exactly something that most people have had prior experience to. To go, oh, well, in this scenario, this is what I'm doing. Like, yeah, and most campaigns don't have a 13 year time skip. <laughs> yeah. Not that I'm complaining, just. It's just... understandable that no one would, would necessarily have a plan for it. We've gone to the past. We have 13 years to prepare. Here's what I do. I mean, this entire campaign is about doing stuff that most GMs probably wouldn't ever do in a heartbeat.
And then update this guy's label as his actual name. Everybody else don't matter, they're troopers. The returners, I presume? Hmm. Yep. You're different than I imagined. But also, I'm not sure what I imagined, so. What, were you expecting the Ministry Mayors? Sorry to disappoint. More so... Your tales are less exaggerated. Than you actually are. Hmm. Firehoof at your service. Yeah. Now, I assume. Through some sort of magical means, you know everything already, let alone her walkie talkie. Hmm. Yeah, we uh, looked over the uh, wagon, or the uh, uh, ruins of the uh, uh, car, and I tell it was definitely uh, tampering with the engine. Uh, uh, it was hook, uh, it was tampered to hook up to some kind of explosive, probably a plastic kind. I believe that it hacked and blew up one of our vehicles. Do mm -hmm. not. Yeah, the only issue would be how they would get in in the first place, unless. Because they even invisible, they'd have to you know get inside the armored car with the uh, five other ponies in it, and then hook it up to the engine. Unless they did this that night or uh, way prior, before uh, uh, your friends got into the armored car. I've taken night shifts hour an hour or two before the transition of who's driving hmm. Keep the yes, so was, yes this was definitely planned in advance uh, hmm. and where were uh, you and the other crew going We are heading north, northwest, near where the Atwin was attacked. Well, until it was attacked, obviously. There's an old military base up that way, on Quave, I believe, that we intended to set up. Hmm. So, uh, they were just, uh, you know, traveling to a set a base of operations. Are you asking that in or out of game? Um, out of game, I just wanted to uh, clarify. Yeah, they just want to set up an outpost of some sort. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, I was... Uh, make sure they weren't actually heading over to the Alicorns to attack them first, and then the bombing came. I 
based on what they've told, yeah, they are heading to try and set up an outpost. Mm. Uh, anyone else want to uh, take a turn questioning? Uh, mm. Mm. Yeah, assuming that's uh, that, that's all accurate, it sounds like there wasn't any real reason for the Alicorns to, uh, orns to uh, uh, go and attack you outright since you weren't actively encroaching on their territory. I honestly don't have any clue as to why they attacked. Hmm. If it even was th uh, them who attacked. There are plenty of factions here who... Who would uh, would love to uh, uh, lo uh, love to see uh, see a new uh, newcomers not gain gain a, a seat of power? Excuse me, we encountered a few hmm. other raiders, yeah. a Minotaur slave slaver group. Yeah, there are scattered zebra remnants around too. Uh... If any of them are half as bizarre as your party, I not wish to encounter them. Probably the biggest group out there right now is the Twelve. And organized... Uh, yeah, the Coalition of Raiders. One of their... Traveling groups attacked and took out third vehicle that we'd lost. And it was after that that the ghouls got the other one. Wait, wait is that four now? Counting fours? Uh, they, had, they had eight vehicles at first. <laughs> Jesus. I was about to say, do I hear five, but do I hear nine? <laughs> How far you know that one of them got taken out by glowing ghouls? Glowing one ghouls. That was the fourth one. One of them got taken out by raiders. That was the, the third one. I don't know what happened to the other ones. And the seventh one got taken out, presumably, by alicorns. So yeah, fun. Your homelands here are unforgiving. No offense, it's not my homeland. I'm from the mainland too. Likewise. Uh, I don't think this is any of our homeland. Or no, I guess it's trainers. No, no, I'm from the mainland. Trainer from mainland too, huh? It, okay. Trainer, yeah, Trainer keeps bringing right. stories about right. mainland equestrians. Yeah, yeah, I remember not mentioning that. So there's a joke about the doctor that passed you up being the doctor that mentored Barry. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Alice the did stumble upon a few settlements, little towns on the our way. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you want to uh, stick to a settlement instead of trying to establish a base of operations. With uh, you're kind of short hoofed uh, to be doing that in out here in the wilds. From my understanding, that military base is enclave. Strong turrets, possibly vehicles stashed away inside. This is the same one that you all fought a bird, a bird outside of, and but not. Yeah, I think we may have. Uh... Yeah, uh, that uh, base I believe was ransacked, so the turrets uh, might be damaged. There are probably some. Uh, vehicles and salvage that couldn't be carried, but uh, 
uh, the defenses are probably down. Mm, not to uh, not to mention the, uh, that the Enclave are still have a presence on this, uh, these islands. So the moment you s uh, you set hoof in there, they are going to know, and they're going to send someone to investigate. Likely with they the, keep uh, with tabs. The, uh, they keep tabs over an old abandoned military base. We found out. Yeah. We found out the hard way the last time we uh, we explored one of those bases. We went, we went in, explored, tr thinking it was abandoned, and next thing you know, a vertebuck a, a, a drops in on us with a bunch of enclaves and soldiers. Yeah, with the, the cloud layer, you know, cloud cover destroyed, they're just kind of scrambling, scrambling to reclaim any old bases and territory. Yeah, the main... Oh, Miss Lai, I don't think there are any towers by the Ministry of Awesome on these islands as compared to the mainlands, though. So there isn't necessarily anything to blast apart the cloud cover as well out here compared to mainland. Um, I'm pretty but, sure but you don't have cloud above. cover. You do have decent cloud cover, but it's definitely not on this island. If anything, it's on the one south south most south of here, the uh, one with all the south flats on it back in the past. Okay. Has, well, this is an above board thing anyway, because I'd already be gone at this point. Yeah. That's the one with the highest concentration of clouds right now. But, yeah, given the Enclave presence, uh, uh, presence here, the an old Enclave base is, no, is prob uh, probably one of the worst places you can go to. Might I uh, rec uh, recommend amend you head over to Salvation City? Past that town on our way. It is very diverse. I think is the best word. And we saw quite a few raider-like individuals. Mm -hmm. The NCR does not associate with people of that kind, even if it is in the past. I do hope. They, they, uh, they are still, uh, they are still, they are former raiders and still citizens uh, 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 of the Salvation City. And, Anywhere else? And the, uh, the, former slaves, refugees from the whole. You know, we take we take all sorts in Salvation City. We are trying to. Uh, we, one of the things we're trying to do is tr try and bring back a little bit of that diversity and welcomeness that was. That existed in the uh, in the world before war broke out. I'm gonna respond to Mash real quick. It was disabled. I had to abandon it. it honestly, it sh should still work. Where? If you want to go into a hotbed of glowing ones. Where? Oh yeah, Ma uh, you know Masher's a ghoul, so. I mean, as long as they're not starving, which, I mean, they ate the crew, they should be fine. It's right <laughs> in there. Uh, you came from the direction of Salvation City, yes? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. So you teleported, didn't you? Just you went point to the direction. It's right mm -hmm. around the mountains, in a city. I think the uh, settlement of mud is on the outskirts of the city opposite of it, on the exact opposite side. It's at this point, Master Mums. Oh, yeah, I have a map. Brings up map. Just point it out. Alright, uh, where is your 
guys, I'm just gonna move you all to the main big map real quick. Because you're not really doing anything on that tiny map. If you don't want to do anything there, just tell me and I'll move you back. But I think we will likely end before you do anything there. So, yeah. Yeah. Aside from just maybe having Barry treat their injuries or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are decently injured. It would be right here. Okay, so that big white square and we're... We're where the icon is? Right there. Fifteen mile hike? Should be doable. We had to go through the edge of the city. Some of the outskirt bits. And our vehicles must have awoken them. They were in the streets, poured out of skyscrapers, fell from the skies. They clearly didn't have any sense of self preservation. Even worse, it poured from them. Successful that even covers it. Sewer ghouls. <laughs> Still, Salvation City is a haven for the a haven for the uh, uh, those who who will seek a better life. And. What other options do you really have at this point? What's south on these islands? What's at the south tip? I haven't mentioned that yet. Above board? Above board? No. Yeah, you don't know what's down there. Hmm. Idra knows what's down there, but you all don't. Hew, hew, hew. What? Horse, horse, horse. Trans what? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, I have a perfect image for, uh, um, what, uh, what, uh, um, the... Oh, what a hydro will be a, or a, a gauge will be a like, watching this all go down. Uh, let's see. Can I post this in general or memes? Uh, probably memes. Uh, let's see. Is it? Do I have uh, any pictures or downloads? Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, there we go. Uh. Gage, DMs, real quick. All right, sure. intensifies. I'm just figuring something out. <laughs> because Gage has been doing things and I'm like, huh. So Yeah, you don't know anything about what's down south. He does ask what about the southmost beach, the tip of the Island here. Anything down there? Unfortunately, that is not a place that we have explored just yet. 
Hey, Gage, I check memes. Alright, well, let me look. Hey, That's what Gage must be doing. Ha <laughs> 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 That's funny. Yes. I've gathered, <laughs> gathered when we were first arriving by boat. Not very hospi hospitable, it seems. We saw more than one dragon from the coast. <coughs> we can take up shelter in your city. If you can promise that truly everyone there is non-hostile intentions. As long as you, uh, as long as you adhere to the rules of the city and don't, uh, don't bring any hostilities in with yourself, it should uh, should be more than welcome for you. And also. If you do end up co uh, getting in contact with your main forces, uh, t uh, tell Sn uh, Snowdrop that Barry re uh, reports that the benefactor has been dealt with for good. Yeah. I did hear you were friends with the president, as it were. I will send the word. Yeah, perhaps when all the uh, when uh, when all this is settled, uh, said and done, and things are more settled, yeah, we can meet again and maybe share a drink. Maybe. We know what direction to go in. Mm -hmm. We passed that way. Yeah. Please do. Deal do justice to those outlines. Mm -hmm. We'll even let you keep one of these missiles here as a Uh, I don't know the exact name of it, but a missile launcher in the truck. Anyone here who can use it? If you have someone, you have my permission to use it in the name of the NCR and blow them to kingdom come. <laughs> Trick just carrying the missile launcher. I was just going to say, Master looks the train right. So, do you want it, or should I take it? Uh, is that Masher skill with explosives? Yeah, Masher yeah. is skilled with explosives. I think trying to retire, but I know Masher is high, very skilled. Yeah, Trainer X yeah. Uh, evolving into the I punch everything. Yeah. Uh, still have explosives at uh, uh, 115, though. Yeah, okay, you're better with explosives, but, you know, Masher is into pushing. Yeah, I was just concerned, like, you know, besides SMGs. Yeah, I was concerned, uh, is it like an actual, like, is it a one-shot missile launcher, or, uh... It's gonna be a multiple, just put uh, more mm -hmm. ammo in it, and, well, you, there you go. But you actually need missiles, and you don't have missiles, besides the one that they give you. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, I just... Give that to Masher then. You know, I opted out, but taking battle cells, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They would recuperate and everything and tell you that they're going to be heading off in the night. Uh, say we leave it here because it is 11.03. You can talk to them in Wing Talk if you wish. I will be talking with Misty in DMs as she converses with Alphonse. Yeah, uh, a part of me uh, thought for a second that uh, 
Oh, we'd be taking one of those uh, scale missiles that are beside the uh, armored car. <laughs> Just strap a giant missile onto Trainwreck's back. <laughs> uh, you are taking one of those. It's not to scale at all. So we're turning Trainwreck into a Yusha? You are taking one of those uh, missiles. It's not to scale. I was thinking of Toy Story now, with Buzz Lightyear with the giant rocket strapped to his back. <laughs> <laughs> We're not aiming for the truck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can also loot this area, because there is the pool of radiation and the stream going if Masher needs to irradiate himself. And there is a pile of scrap metal and junk that you can loot. Yeah, I think it's safe to say Masher will top off on radiation for going to go get the other car, mm. truck, thing, vehicle. Car, truck, vehicle thing. Yes. We'll save that for, like, an actual session because ghouls. <laughs> Ghoul, going to see ghouls. It's just going to be a big family reunion. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be careful, there might actually be an intelligent ghoul. As we know, some of them can control ghouls, feral ghouls. Well, I mean, Master does now have Charisma of 10. You do now have a missile launcher. I do now have a missile launcher, too. That does help. <laughs> but it's like, you know... <laughs> he's not gonna be ripped to shreds just for stepping foot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at the thing you missed. I mean, it's accurate. Like, that is an actual accurate representation of pigeon intelligence. I am so. <laughs> If you want to roll up to, like, loot the scrap metal, go ahead. I'm going to end here. Barry, you can turn off the stream whenever you want. We can probably we can talk for as long as you guys want. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah Trim Reckon to help out with the scrap, because mechanics. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Ten luck, so. Yeah, well, that has been another session of Fallout Equestria Distant Lands. It has been. I hope that everyone who came uh, came in and stopped by to watch had a good time, and yeah, it was a pretty fun session. We got back into the swing of things. Mm -hmm. A few hiccups, because, you know, a few new th uh, things added on, because, yeah, I'm not used to being a caster yet, and Root isn't exactly you're used to fighting yet. Horse. Also, first for mystery, and that makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, just have him play fight with Pixie a bit. That'll teach him pretty quick. Play fight with the fox that gives people poison joke. Sure. Yeah. You know, it's I'm gonna fine. Duck out now since the session's over. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll be in your DM. We can continue RP. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be in the Yeah, I'm going to crash. Night. only yep. got like a two hours yep. of sleep. Yep. Until next time, everybody. Y'all take care now. Bye. <laughs>